So hello friends, in today's video, we will discuss about the transponder MOX bonder to MOX to MOX connectivity. So here we have taken the example of CCMD8 cross 16 as a MOX to MOX. So let's see how the CCMD8 cross 16 is connected physically by the transponder and MOX bonder. So for the circuit reference, I have taken this circuit example. You can see here, this is the motor card or transponder MOX bonder card, which is connected to CCMD8 cross 16. So we will discuss in detail in this video about what the port of the CCMD8 cross 16 is connected to which port of the motor card or the transponder cards. So we'll focus on this part, connectivity, physical connectivity within these parts. So in this video, we will discuss about the OTR motor card connectivity with, uh, with MAX DMAX CCMD8 cross 16s and both OTR, OT and MOTR and MAX DMAX CCMD8 cross 16 belong to the same location. So motor card or transponder MUX bonder card is connected by connected to the CCMD8 cross 16 MUX TMUX, both physically present at the same location. So CCMD8 cross 16, <clears throat> so there are one to 32 port, which is for 16 channel. A drop port is connected to OT and MOTR card. And CCMD8 cross 16 common port, port number 33 and uh, 36 is connected to the film fiber enter connect module. So you can see here for the circuit diagram, we, I have taken this circuit diagram one lambda connectivity DWDM signal flow from one side to side uh, B. So I have taken example of one lambda, point to point lambda. So in this circuit diagram, or you can see the circuit reference, we will focus on this part. So physical connectivity within this port. Uh, motor, uh, transponder to max bonder, transponder max bonder to CCM data cross 16. So here at site A and site B, both site A and site B, the transponder max bonded to the CCM data cross 16 has the same connectivity. We will focus on this part. Let's see. So we will see the CCM data cross 16 view. So physically the CCM data cross 16 looks like this. You can see here port number one to port number 32. This is the channel port or you can say the add drop port. Port number one is the in port and port number two is the out port. Then you can say the odd port is the in port and the even port is the out port. So if you are talking about the channel number one, so channel number one belongs to two port, one and two port. One channel number one in port is from the one port and channel number two out port is from the port number two. So in the same way, you can connect up to uh, 16 channel and 16 channel uh, for each channel, there is two port, physical two port. So for 32 port is for uh, 16 channel and these are the 33, 34, 35, 36. So this is the extended, you can see this is the pluggable or this is the not pluggable. Basically, you can say this is the module chassis which is connected for the different uh, directions. So CCMD cross 16 can give you total eight direction. So a four direction is from these two ports and four is from the another module, CXM module that is called. So this is connected to via the fiber interconnect module. So this is the CCMD cross 16 physical view. You can see it. This is the CCMD cross 16 line diagram. You can see it. This is the port number 35 and 36. This is the CXM module, which is an extended module uh, for another four directions. And you can see this is the circuit diagram basically. So whatever the channel is connected here, you can see from this is this is a multi-class multi-class switch. And the, there is a ADFA array which is connected for compensate the instance losses. So I have already made a different video on CCMD8 cross 16 details, so you can see there. So let's see, this is the uh, NMS view. So let's see how the physical connectivity between the CCMD8 cross 16 and transponders max bonders. So this is the CCMD8 cross 16. And this is the, uh, I have taken example of transponders. So in the transponder, this is the line port and these are the client ports. These are the client ports to and from. And you can see this is connected uh, to the FIM module. And let's see how this channel port is connected to the line ports. So now you can see the TX port of the uh, line port of the MUX bonder is connected to the in port. Of any channel number you can see this is the uh connected to input 11 port and 
the output of the same channel is going from CCMD to 16 output, physical output, and connected to the RX port of the line port. You can see here. So, here I have taken the example of transparent discards. So, every client port, ever for every corresponding to every client port, there is a line port. You can see this is the client port, and this is the line port which is connected to input. The TX port of the line port of the transponder is connected to input of any, any one channel. And the output of that channel is connected to the RX port of the transponder cards. So this is basically the physical connectivity between the transponder MUX bonder to the MUX TMUX. Here I have taken the MUX TMUX CCMD 16 as an example. Thanks for watching.